Hi, hello guys. Uh, look here, it's gonna be a review regarding for the Z10 after 1000 kilometers made in, let's see if you can see it. I think yes, by the way, this is this is wheel lock application and wheel lock has been, as you know, updated for use with the for use with the Z10 by Palak ZZZ and uh, he made a great job uh, I helped him a little bit with testing mm, so now it reconnects really nice and uh, works well okay so a few words regarding the uh, wheel first of all my type of use of the wheel I use the wheel um, like almost every day in the city um, I use it for accessing the places I need to go so I also ride in bad weather in winter and uh, so it's like everyday use for me have a look wheel is specially um, in the kind of unprepared shape I didn't clean it any, in any way um, so you can have a look on especially on the mod guard that it is really necessary piece of plastic because wheel gets dirty um, handle works okay and uh, just uh, as an initial um, comments I suggest really to have a look on my initial mods which I have um, posted on the YouTube um, this is this will give you some idea how to prepare the wheel and uh, I have also made a comments regarding the um, 250 kilometers which I have made on the wheel and that's uh, just how it looks like and what kind of mods I had to uh, do to make it ready for the road so I suggest to um, have a look on those materials okay just uh, to have it ready okay so some initial comments um, and a few mods which had not been yet addressed in those uh, initial materials as you may have seen on the electric unit cycle org I have published the uh, mod for the button for the um, just to protect the uh, button ac against the accidental switch off switch on um, this is here you see now it is really not switching off unless you really press in this specific place okay so this is good um, example of the um, situation that you want to put the wheel aside okay and you want to uh, if you have it in the parked position you just press it here okay move it and it will simply um, stabilize itself. This mod has also a second use which is the front lamp mod. You may see if I cover the light sensor it will switch the front lamp on. Uh, however the without this um, reduction of amount of light which is done here uh, the problem is that if you ride at night and if you have some incoming traffic, uh, the car uh, incoming lights will simply get into the sensor too much and switch your light off in the moment which you really do not need to uh, want, you do not want to have it off at the specific situation because you need the light. So um, this also works for that and the third use is simply the protection of the of this uh, display that this plastic is not like getting scratched um, second mode anti-rattle mode which I have implemented you may have a look here in this area um, because this handle is kind of loose um, it's better than the pre-production model as far as I know but it's still uh, sometimes slightly loose so um, I just observed that it's starting to kind of rattle if uh, you do not put some kind of a stabilizer or piece of double-sided tape in fact which has been kindly used and uh, 
now it's not rattling. Um, also I have added some uh, one layer of tape just you have to unscrew it from this side okay and take this plastic up and just uh, put uh, one layer of tape just to stabilize the handle slightly better but this is some kind of a small issue but worth doing because it is stabilizing the the handle also have a look um, uh, pedal openers uh, I have created the newer version uh, with uh, less protruding plastic and stronger so now it really really works okay uh, you see it opens well okay so this is really a necessary mod in case you need to be able to transfer to the wheel quickly to open the pedals quickly by the way have a look on the scratches on the pedals people are complaining that the pedals are too low that is an issue and so on and so on and so on this wheel is after 1000 kilometers okay guys so um, I can tell you from my practice from my type of use that there is completely no issue with the scratches on the pedals those scratches are minimal this is I will say normal use scratches gonna be um, on the wheel only in the situation that you have it really on the kind of the you know uh, bumpy road or if it's something protruding from the um, asphalt or something so just the minimal scratches here and this is like a regular use so I don't think it's a it's a problem uh, at all okay so um, as I said uh, for the for this review it makes sense that first you uh, have a look on the two earlier um, videos on YouTube which I have uh, posted with the initial mods and um, this will give you some, some better background to, to have uh, this review and also regarding the pedal openers. Also one information about the front lamp which I have presented. Um, if you if you want to have a look, um, this is quite powerful LED. Of course, this lamp needs modification uh, for the proper uh, angle, which is also described on the Electric Unicycle Org, how to do it. I made this mode. And uh, uh, I can tell you just the technical information which I have found that the lamp is in fact 5 watt, because this is the difference in the energy consumption uh, which you can measure in wheel lock, by the way, between the lamp on and lamp off. So this is 5 watt lamp LEDs. Um, something to um, also show the in terms of the mods, which I have written something but I didn't show it earlier, is the um, pumping hose mod. Um, Ninebot adds to the box the, this this uh, piece of rubber, and uh, just to allow the you know to pump the wheel to the specific pressure. But uh, you know they are kind of uh, not really thinking um, towards the easy of ease of use of the users, because uh, normally this piece of rubber it has the just a standard connection here without the valve. So if you screw this into the wheel the all air starts to escape so you have no way to measure the pressure uh, easy so the solution for that is pretty simple just um, cut the original uh, rubber um, almost at the top get the valve from uh, bike old bike um, tube or some kind of a you know bicycle bike uh, motorcycle tube um, just take it, cut it completely, clean it from the rubber and just press inside this piece of rubber and uh, I have added a little bit of the shrink here to keep it but in fact it's not, not really needed. You, you can really do it without any um, kind of a shrink. This is just, just to make it look like slightly nicer. But it's, uh, it works um, well because uh, the, the, you, you need a lot of pressure to put it inside and it sits firmly, it's no problem. So in this case uh, this starts to work as it is supposed to do. I mean you can simply uh, measure the pressure outside without any, any problems. So I strongly suggest this simple mode also to, to implement. 
Um, what next? Um, handle rattle, I'll tell you. Um, uh, it's quite a nice feature. In fact, I think not so many people noticed that that because of the specific shape of the handle, um, in fact, okay, when we switch the wheel on, okay, and we open the handle, so have a look, this creates the hole here, so simply you can grab the wheel with the handle open, okay, and carry it up and down with the handle open. This is quite useful in those situations when you are, for example, between two flights of steps and you want to um, do not want to lose time to push the handle back. By the way, this one needs cleaning because uh, uh, the dust goes here and then it is not so easy to operate it anymore without using the pressure and uh, just the right angles you have to press it to the to the in the right angle to 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 put it in uh, it's quite difficult to do it when i hold when i'm holding the camera and so on um what next um i have uh, have a look on regarding the charging speed and uh, i have published this uh, information uh, on the electric unicycle org regarding the use of uh, uh, charge doctor. I strongly suggest to get this device because it will allow you to observe to see how much you need to charge the wheel and how to uh, operate the batteries um, with the very safe way and charge them between you know no more than 90-95 percent. Um, this will give you several thousand charges of the wheel without any problems so no deterioration of batteries. Ah, of course, we're going to have a new wheels probably next year or in two years, but if somebody is uh, using the wheel on the daily basis, it really makes sense to use it. And um, also the charge doctor allows you to use two chargers. So in case you really want to charge the wheel really quickly, you can do this. It will offer you in such case the uh, double charging speed, which is which is about um, 200 watt, 220 watt hour per hour. So um, the total charging will be something like uh, five hours in such case. But uh, it really makes sense only to use the fast charging to just add like maybe 200 watt hours when you are in the middle of the day and you have access to the charger for uh, like half an hour or an hour in case you really want to be sure that you have enough power left and you are not left without with the low battery state. Um, so uh, also a comment recently it has been a firmware update to the um, from the version 1.0.0 and from version 1.0.2 because if I had uh, access to one wheel which was 1.0.0 and uh, second one had the firmware 1.0.2 now it has been updated by wheel lock to 1.0.5 also this uh, firmware includes the update of the BMS um, firmware which I think it's important to do because they are addressing some issues with the um, deep sleep or um, discharging and uh, I think it makes sense to, to update it. Um, a few comments about the riding. You know, people are kind of uh, uh, commenting this uh, use of this wheel uh, with really no experience whatsoever or if they have like maybe, you know, 10 minutes of, of riding time makes, in my opinion, it makes really no sense to, to make some co such comments to, to uh, how it rides. Um, take your time, uh, take about 500 kilometers and then um, I think it makes sense to, to provide the comments. The ride is quite smooth, uh, the thick tire really offer the good handling and uh, really good um, experience and the 
uh, wheel rides really well on the grass, on the uneven terrain, on the uh, sand. This makes no problem at all. So I suggest to um, simply have some experience with the wheel before commenting. Um, uh, wheel has very low noise. Um, it's not um, noisy. In some cases it is uh, kind of a problem because people do not notice you. So the noise is really not that bad in some cases. And um, what else can I say? Um, uh, complaints. Um, I would rather have slightly stronger braking, especially that this wheel goes to something like 45-46 kilometers an hour. Um, it would not be bad to have uh, stronger braking. Um, speed is, I think, more than satisfactory. Um, going uphill also is kind of okay. Um, going downhill, um, it charges the battery, but I have heard on some comments that uh, the charging downhill is not even, that the only one battery gets charged. I don't have these uh, problems that much. I was trying to observe it and um, probably with the longer uh, runs down it is such a situation that the one battery is getting a uh, different charge than the other one but uh, uh, when the wheel is still on after that or especially when you stop riding I had seen the situation that only one battery is used so and of course only this one which has the higher charge so this is kind of situation that um, the um, BMS's they try to stabilize, they, st they try to um, equalize the, the charge and I think this um, simply offers the kind of a solution uh, regarding, regarding um, this kind of uh, use. Just a second. Okay, a um, few comments if there is anything left. Um, basically, that's about it. Uh, it's pretty long material anyway, so sorry for taking your time. Um, I strongly suggest the wheel to everybody. Uh, as for my experience from the uh, earlier nine bots and King Song and uh, slightly with Gotway, um, this is my preferred wheel in terms of the use. The only last complaint what I can uh, say here is simply that it's slightly heavy. But uh, the wheel is very small, so even if it's heavy, um, it is relatively easy to carry um, because uh, it's very compact and in terms of size, it's in fact the size of the KS16S. It's only about 10 kilos um, more in weight. But um, um, uh, you can slightly get used to that and uh, because the wheel has the handle, really the weight is not really a huge problem. Um, for the range, I will say it's uh, 50 to 60 kilometers wheel. This depends all of your on the wind, on the temperature, on your riding pattern of the speeds, and so on and so on. So it's difficult to really um, confirm that it's strictly uh, 55 or 65 kilometers, or only 40 or maybe 70. It is all depends on your weight and several other factors. So. Um, I think that we can say that it's uh, 50 plus, um, in some cases 60, but uh, in my um, type of use, I usually, my trips are no longer than 40, 45 kilometers, uh, then I get, uh, have, uh, then I usually have the chance to just recharge it slightly if I really need to, but uh, um, very seldom seldom I have very seldom situations I need more than 50 kilometers to go in one uh, trip so I think it's quite okay and uh, for daily use it's it's uh, kind of enough okay all the best um, hopefully to um, I will have some new materials uh, soon um, all the best to all unicycle riders bye